Hello, my name is Laura Modali and welcome to Science for Education, supporting teaching and learning in science education. Right now, I'm in the dining room in my 1940 corner house. One of my favorite things in this house is this 1940 chandelier. The reason is not only because it's beautiful and old, but also I can change the brightness of the lights. I can make them dimmer or brighter. Now maybe you have something similar like this at home and wondered before how this could happen. In this episode, we are going to discuss a specific component in a circuit that plays a great role in changing the brightness of the light in the circuit. This specific component is called a rheostat. There are three different kinds of rheostats, linear, rotary, and preset or trimmer. In our activity today, we are going to use the linear type of rheostat, and I'm going to use my kit from Udux. Now let's go back to the studio. In our previous videos, we talked about how electric current is the source of energy that makes a light bulb light up. And we also talked about resistors that act as a component that reduces the electric current flowing in the circuit. Now think, what if that resistor could be adjusted so it could turn up or down the amount of current that flows in the circuit? In the year 1843, a scientist and inventor named Sir Charles Whitstone from England invented something called a rheostat, which is a type of variable resistor. This is a linear rheostat. In this rheostat, a resistive wire is wound around an insulating ceramic core called a track, and there is a wiper that slides over the windings. As you can see here, you will find three terminals, terminal A, terminal B, and terminal C. Terminal A and terminal C are the two fixed terminals connected to both ends of the resistive element, and terminal B is the variable terminal connected to the sliding wiper or slider. The wiper or terminal B that moves along the track varies the resistance of the rheostat. The resistance of the rheostat is changed when the slider or wiper is moved over the resistive path. This happens because the current flows through more or less of the resistant element depending on the position of the slider. By placing the rheostat in the electrical circuit, we can control, increase, or decrease the flow of electric current in the circuit. Let's do an experiment to investigate how the rheostat works. Here I have a linear rheostat, a light bulb, a breaker, an ammeter, and you know what the ammeter is for, and some batteries. And we have them all connected in a series circuit. First. Let's try using the rheostat's fixed terminals in the circuit. So that will be terminals A and C. I am going to close the circuit. Now pay attention to the light bulb and the ammeter. The current that flows in the circuit is fixed to a certain value, even if I slide the slider. Next. Let's try using terminals B and A on the rheostat. I'm going to close the circuit. Pay attention to the light bulb and the ammeter. Now I'm going to slide the slider on the track. What happens to the light bulb and the ammeter? The brightness of the light changes and you could see on the ammeter that the value of the electric current changes. Here we can conclude that the rheostat does not completely block the flow of the electric current. Instead, it reduces the electric current flow to a certain level. 
and therefore a real stat is a type of variable resistor. I hope this activity helps you to understand how the brightness of a lamp or a chandelier can change. Thank you for watching this video, but hey, do yourself a favor to find out more applications of rheostats in electronic devices other than to control the intensity of light bulbs and let me know what you find in the comments below. See you next time!